Nimekuja tu hapa hivi nje ku catch a cool breeze ni masaya jioni naona school bus zinapita pita zinapeleka watoto nyumbani ETC. Uh -huh. Sasa while I'm here nimekumbuka tu leo there is somebody who called me from section 58 hapa Nakuru. And uh, they asked me whether niweza wasaidia you know kuuza nyumba yao. So we went you know further to you know on that to discuss at length. And uh, yeah everything was good until we got to the price. Okay? So they said they have a three bedroom home uh sitting on a 50 by 100. Yeah. And uh they want to sell it for 30 million Kenya shillings. So once they mentioned 30 I told them thank you but uh that one uh for me I, you know, siwezi, siwezi kusaidia hapo kusema ukweli. Folks, have you ever seen a salesman who refuses to sell a product? Like, we are, okay, here is the product, sell it. And they're like, no, I, I don't want to sell that one. That is me today. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I had to refuse that one. Because, I mean, there are things that I've shared from Section 58, especially property for sale, land for sale, ETC. And uh, the feedback that I'm getting is that uh, those guys are over ambitious. You know, that is the feedback I'm getting. That those folks, they are over ambitious. So take for instance, you know, um, there's a property I know at section 58. So right now they are saying that, uh, you know, the rates for 50 by 100, it could be like 7 million. 50 by 100, 7 million, a quarter, you know, 15 million there. But even that one still folks are saying, I mean, it is the feedback, you know, I, I, I'm making this, you know, this video out of the feedback that I'm getting. So folks are saying, uh, you folks, uh, you are over ambitious. Uh, you know, the other folks on the other end who are interested, in, I mean, potential clients, interested clients, viewers, you know, so the folks who are watching, they are telling me those people who are now selling their things, uh, those guys are over ambitious, you know. So that's why I told this client, uh, no, I, I, I won't be able to do that one. No, no, at 30 million Kenya shillings. I mean, tell me, right now we have gated communities in Nakuru at Barnabas, especially at Barnabas, many of them. You know, with 30 million, you can buy three homes in those gated communities. With 30 millions, you can buy three homes or even four, maybe three and a half. Because for as low as 7.5, 7.5 by four, how much is that? Yeah, for 30 million, you can easily afford four homes at Barnabas inside a gated community, newly built. But now this one is like 10 years, is like 15 years old. Okay, so obviously it is an old model house. And uh, by the way, I mean, right now, Siko buyer, right now, you see, the, the current world, you know, folks are driven by these fancy things, you know, that's the world that we're living right now. So if somebody sees this bungalow at Barnabas or a mansion it for 12 million on a 50 by 100 versus you at section 58 for 30 million, surely this person, where will they go? Exactly. And now, why would they come to occupy your house? Uh, like a house that is like 15 years old versus a newly built house at Barnabas. And by the way, lately I've been thinking about this thing. I mean, our parents, probably somebody lied to them that if you build a house now, 10 years down the line, you can sell it for more money. I mean, okay, I've been in this field, in the real estate field for, you know, a short while. Okay, there are folks who have been there. You know, I could be wrong. There are folks who have been there for ages, and even then, maybe they can help me on this one. Okay? Now, take a home where somebody has lived in that home for 15 years. They have raised their family there. So maybe even now their family is gone. Or even more. Okay, I, 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 I've said 15 in the case of this one in question. So, or even more years. So obviously the plumbing, you know, uh, is overwhelmed now. The roofing, you know, it has taken its toll. The flooring, the tile work, if there were ever tiles at that time, they have taken their toll. They have worn out some of them. And then 
somebody wants to sell this house more expensive than even the homes that are available now, you know, like this one for, I mean, from 15 years ago, which, come on, I mean, uh, folks, come on, come on, come on, come on, folks. I mean, school me on this one, okay? I, I could be naive on this matter, but seriously, school me. Mtu wa meshi kwe nyomba, cho iko almost full. If there was any cho, maybe latrine. Mabati ime beat, tile work ime beat, wardrobes, <clears throat> maybe zingine hata zimeanguka, roofing, doyo, I mean, you know, it has, it has had its time. And then somebody wants to sell it more money than a house, a three bedroom still, that is brand new right now, today, in the market. Come on, come on, I seriously don't get it. Okay, so following the feedback that I've been getting, you know, especially for the properties I've shared at 58, even homes for sale, folks have just told me those guys are over ambitious, Ezra. Wachana now. Wachana wakaina nyumba zao. There's somebody who told me that. <laughs> you guys are over ambitious. So when this one mentioned 30 million, so 50 by 100, take even that 50 by 100, Basi. So, okay, a parcel of land, right now they are saying, you know, it could be, it could be 5 to 7 million. At five eight, fifty by one hundred. So you're telling me the home is worth twenty five million. So is the home worth twenty five million? No. I mean, there is somebody who lied to our parents that our home, if you kijenga nyumba, iyo nyumba ten years down the line, five years down the line, unezuza pesa mingi kuliko ili ambayo uli jenga. Onona, I really doubt that one. I really doubt that one. I'm not saying you cannot. I'm, I'm like I'm not saying uwezi jenga nyumba. Okay? If, if you build today and you sell it one year down the line, of course, you know, you could sell it for a profit. No, no. The plumbing, nini, wardrobes, nini, like the features are still intact. No, no. You can sell it, you can sell it for a profit. But this one that, you know, I mean, it, it has, you know, and you, you want to sell it for 30 million, 30, 30 million. 30 million, somebody will buy four homes in this Nakuru. Three and a half homes. Somebody, new ones. You know, with modern design, modern features. Yeah, I mean, trendy, you know, trendy fittings. Come on. So, iyo nilimuambia. Aitaweza. Nilimuambia tu iyo. Iyo mi sina aja akuza. Iyo hakuna aja. Hakuna aja niende kuza iyo. And especially for 30 million. You know, do you know? I mean, sijui kama watu wanaonanga kuna mtu tu akona 30 million mahali, ameona tu 30. Naweza fanya nini? Aende tu a dump mahali. Hakuna. Unaona that age of people just you know putting money anywhere. You know, iliisha, especially kwa property land etc. Sasa hizi mtu ukimuzia chama anataka kuona what are the value additions that you have done on that land? Is there a sewer system there? Is there a borehole? Is there electricity? Is there water? So easy, maze. The folks who are buying property in this day and age, they are more informed than ever. So these days, it is not easy for, I mean, for just somebody to come with money and just pour somewhere. Even this one for 30 million at section 58. So assuming this, the, the, assuming now, okay, this person comes with the, with the 30 million and they give you the 30. So they want to do an apartment like that one. That takes like 99 million. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> how long are they even uh, how long are they going to take even to recoup their 30 alone so uh, so easy <laughs> that age ya mtu tu watu tu walikuwa naeka tu pesa tu popote hiyo iliisha so for 30 that one itaweza so niliambia tu hiyo client hiyo iweze 30 million nyumba ni is it, is it, just a three bedroom so i saw the you know the, the interior it is not like it has sophisticated features, you know, advanced features, anything of that sort. It is just basic. And somebody wants 30 million just because it is a, it, it is a, at section 58. Very soon I want to have a conversation with a valuer. And I want to discuss this. How do we arrive at the value of a property? I really want to have that conversation. But most importantly, by the way, the folks here in Akoro, the feedback I'm getting, the folks who are selling, uh, property land okay not the fresh parcels is a kitambo uh folks are telling me maze you, you are you are over ambitious 
<laughs> you folks are being, you are, you are over ambitious, Baba. <laughs> so, rethink that one. Saim tu mungina kiniambia bei, nisikia hii bei, it makes sense, na muambia hapana. Wacha tu. Because ata hapa kiamunye, there are parcels that I have, you know, which I featured here. You know, I mean, somebody just tells you it is this price, we'll go like, okay, sawa tu. Wacha tu minifanya yu kazi tu. But I don't want to be that person. I, yani, staki tu kuwa na content kwa channel, na ileti value. You know, I want to get value. The things that are worth the money, the, the, the bungalows and mansion it's at Barnabas, okay, which are worth the money. I've even sold them. I, I mean, I'm wearing this suit, having sold a home at Barnabas. That's why I'm wearing this, this nice suit. You see, because even when a customer comes there, they are looking at it, they're like, this home is worth it. This home is worth the 12 million. It is worth 10 million, you know? But now you, you are asking 30 million, a home that is 20 years old, you know, I mean, and uh, no, I mean, ah, iyo apana, iyo mi nita kwa tu nawambia, ni kisikia tu be yako yendani vizuri, wacha tu ikae. No, na wacha ni uze hizi ambazo, hizi ambazo zinakuja sa hizi. Na at least be, atakama mtu anatafta profit ya milioni mbili, siyo ni something. Oo, anataka upate profit ya milioni kumi, kwa kitu moja. In fact, wala si milioni kumi, milioni kaa kumi na tano. You have to be serious. <laughs> Nakuru. Ndazidi kuambia. It is the feedback I'm getting. So me, whatever I'm saying, I'm saying out of the feedback that I've been getting, you know, of, in, on the market. You have to be serious. Unawana? Mtu, waki, mtu wanajenga nyumba za hizi Barnabas. Aya, anakudai mitangapi, mitakumi na mbili. Mitakumi. Majini yake maybe ni kaa 2 million. I mean, makes sense. Kwa nataka upata milioni kumi na tano kaa profit, ya nini? Nani, ah, wacha bani. Wacha, wacha. Freddy ni hivo imatosha. Ia isha, I hope the, the point is home. <laughs> Hata kuna taa kunyesha uchu. Okay. Eh, banyasha huko. We, kuna nyesha kwa lake. <laughs> You folks make it hard for me, man. Some of you folks, then now you start asking me again, oh, Ezra, wani hulienda aje mbona ujauza? It is you, you are overambitious. Eh, zile ambazo zimeuza pale Barnabas, wani zimeuza aje? Unaona? I have sold homes. I, I am proud to stand here and say, I have sold homes. Unaona? Right here in this Nakuru, where some other folks wana sema, oh, Nakuru, hakuna pesa, mime I have sold homes right in this Nakuru. Okay, so what if you, if you sit down with a valuer, okay, angalio nyumba, kuambie nyumba ni pesa ngapi, pass, we will sell that home. But as you, you are just, you just wake up and say it is 30 million. How? Wacha ni salamia rafiki zangu hapa wamekuja, Freddy ni